It's time for English on the go, which means we're going to look at a clip sent to us from a native speaker. And today's native speaker is Bluins, and she comes from Austria. 네, 오스트리아에 살고 있는 블루인스 씨에게 하우스 컬이 혹시 오스트리아에서도 흔한지 mm. 질문을 해봤어요. Mm-hmm. 한번 이야기 들어볼까요? Yeah, Bluins 씨, 나와주세요. Apparently, in some countries, it's really common for doctors to make house calls. So they'll come personally to your house and treat you within the comfort of your own home. Where I'm from in Austria, this is quite unheard of. At least I've never experienced it. Unless perhaps you're a really rich and important person who cannot be seen in public hospitals, that might be an option for you. But otherwise, for sort of day-to-day illnesses, doctors don't necessarily tend to make house calls. Of course, it's different if we're talking about the elderly or an infant that needs immediate attention. Perhaps a house call would be possible in those rare exceptions. Although I think generally in Austria, Hospitals tend to send ambulances if you are physically um, just not capable of traveling to the hospital yourself. 네 이야기 잘 들어봤습니다. Mm-hmm. 블루윈스 씨는 직접 경험해 본 적은 없다고 하는데요. Right. 어, 좀더 넓게 범위를 잡으면, mm-hmm. 그, 즉 의사 선생님 말고 다른 사람들이 와서 뭔가를 해준 것까지 잡으면 좀 있을 수도 있어요. Right, of course, mm-hmm. not the doctor, but probably she's had other people or service providers come over, right? At, at least once. Probably at least once, yes. right? I think everyone has experienced that. Mm-hmm. So why don't we take a look at what she said line by line, starting with the first line. Apparently, in some countries, it's really common for doctors to make house calls. Apparently, in some countries, it's really common for doctors to make house calls. Apparently,라고 하는 이 부사로 시작을 하고 있는 문장입니다. Mm-hmm. 듣자하니 보자하니 보아하니. In some countries, 어떤 나라들에서는 일부 나라들에서는 mm-hmm. it's really common, mm-hmm. 아주 흔하다고 합니다. Mm-hmm. For doctors to 의사들이 뭐뭐 하는 것이 to make house calls mm-hmm. 왕진을 하는 것이 정말 흔한가 봐요 라는 문장인데요. Mm-hmm. Apparently가 이 문장의 전체적인 느낌을 많이 바꿔주고 있어요. Mm-hmm. Apparently가 들어가지 않으면 그냥 in some countries it is really common 그냥 사실 as a fact. Oh yeah, it would be as a fact. But when you say apparently, it's kind of like you know as you see it or you know apparently it appears as though this is the case. 맞아요. Right? 본인이 직접 경험한 것이 아닐 경우에 apparently를 mm-hmm. 많이 쓸 수가 있습니다. Mm-hmm. 저는 실제로 한 번도 입어보지 않은 옷이지만 요즘 유행이라고들 해요라고 할때 apparently this kind of t-shirt is in fashion these mm-hmm. days. Even though you haven't experienced it directly because you don't wear it, mm-hmm. you just know that you know this is something that you heard mm-hmm. or seen. To be happening. Yeah, right? apparently fidget spinners are in fashion. Yes. Or were in fashion. Well, that's kind of a fact now. They're definitely in fashion. Okay. I see them everywhere. <laughs> 네. 그래서 여러분이 직접 잘 알지 못하는 경우에 이렇게 apparently 붙여주면 mm-hmm. 좀더 안전한 말이 될 수도 있어요. For sure. So why don't we see what she says in the next sentence? So they'll come personally to your house and treat you within the comfort of your own home. So they'll come personally to your house and treat you within the comfort of your own home. 여기에서 굉장히 제가 어, 영어 배울 때 mm-hmm. 재밌다고 느꼈던 표현이 나오고 있습니다. Uh-huh. So they'll come personally. Uh-huh. 개인적으로 와준다 또는 직접. Yeah. 네. So in this case it means they are coming themselves. They're not sending someone. Um. They're coming themselves. 네. Right? 직접 손수 와 주는 건데요. To your house and treat you. 여기서 말하는 treat you는 여러 가지 문맥에서 다, 다양하게 쓰이는데요. Oh, of course. 네. It could be like treat you, as in buy something for you. I'll treat you to dinner. 네, 저녁 사준다고요? Yeah. For real? No. 네. Just an example. Just an example. <웃음> unfortunately. 그래서 저녁 사줄게. I will treat you to dinner, dinner. to lunch, to breakfast. breakfast. 다양하게 그 treat someone to 하면 그걸 한턱 내다, mm-hmm. 한턱 쏘다 아니면 사준다라는 의미도 있고 또 treat you는 대우. 하다. Mm-hmm. 누구를 네. Yeah. 그냥 how 의도적으로. they're treating you? Hmm. Does is your wife treating you well? Yes, she is. Of course. And is life <웃음> treating you well? Yeah. 이렇게 인생이 너를 잘 대우해 주고 있느냐? 그러니까 mm-hmm. 요즘 어떠냐? 힘들지 않느냐? 이런 말도 right. treat 그다음에 사람을 쓰는 형태로 만들어 주고요. Mm-hmm. 여기서는 medically. Yeah. So in this case it's medical treatment, like 음. some type of 치료, right? 네, 치료죠. Actually treating you for 맞아요, something. 맞아요. 맞아요. 그래서 의사를 이야기하고 있으니까 treat 하면 이걸 대우해 주는 거, mm-hmm. 대접해 주는 거, 뭐사 주는 것이 아니고 치료해 주는 건데요. 그다음이 mm-hmm. 재밌어요. 그다음 한번 읽어 주시죠. Oh yeah, it's within the comfort of your own home. 네. 굉장히 시적인 표현이라고도 볼수 있어요. 그리고 yeah. within 말고 in도 써요. Oh, in yeah. the comfort of your home. 
And we use this a lot to just mean we can do something at home, mm. and it's comfortable because you don't have to go anywhere. 그렇죠. 이걸 좀 직역하자면 집이라고 하는 안락함 속에서. Yeah. In the comfort, in the what is that comfort? It's your home. Your home. Yeah. yeah. So the comfort that's called your home, your home. or the home that's called a comfort. Yeah. So within the comfort of 뒤에 다양한 것을 넣어서 예를 들어 mm-hmm. 집에서 편안하게 하려면은 within the comfort, comfort of, of your, your home, home. 거실에서 그냥 편안하게. In the comfort of your living room. 음, 또는 침실에서 그냥 안 나가고 편안하게. Yeah. In the comfort of your bedroom. 네, 이거는 원래는 밖에 나가서 좀 귀찮지만 움직여서 right. 해야 되는 일을 안 가고도 할수 있다라고 할때쓸 mm-hmm. 수가 있습니다. Yeah, so 음. anytime there's anything you don't have to do outside, but 음. you can do at home. 음. For example, people can work from the comfort of their own home, right? 아, from, Telecommuting. From the comfort도 괜찮고요. Oh yeah, you 네. can say from the comfort as well. 좀한 단계 더 나아가서 마지막 예로 생각해 보면 해외 여행을 이제는 지금은 비행기를 타고 직접 나가야 되는데 <웃음> 나중에 virtual reality, VR로 만약 경험을 할수 있다 시간 나게 oh, yeah. 그러면 you can travel the world. In the comfort of your own country. Oh yeah! 음. In the comfort of your own bedroom, in your pajamas. <웃음> exactly. 그렇게도 말할 수 있습니다. 자, 다음 문장 보실까요? Yeah. Where I'm from in Austria, this is quite unheard of. At least I've never experienced it. Where I'm from in Austria, this is quite unheard of. At least I've never experienced it. Where I'm from in Austria, mm-hmm. 오스트리아에서는 또는 오스트리아의 제가 출신인 지역에서는 제가 사는 곳에서는 mm-hmm. this is quite unheard of. 음. unheard of unheard of right heard of를 이제 unheard of로 바꾼 거고요. right heard of는 you hear of something of something so you know about it 음. right but 네. when you say unheard of it doesn't mean you don't know about it 음. because she knows about you know house calls mm-hmm. but it just means that thing is not there people don't really do it or use it much 맞아요. 저는 그런 얘기 들어본 적이 없는데요 라고 말할 때에는 I've never heard, heard of, of it. it 이렇게 말씀을 하시고요 right. I've never heard of it or I've never heard of such a thing 저는 yeah. 그런 이야기는 금시초문입니다 처음 들어봅니다 right. 라는 의미라면 이제 unheard of는 금시초문이라는 의미도 있지만 들어본 적도 없다라는 말도 있지만 right. 전례가 없다 Yeah. No previous ex- examples. There's no example or you know usage of something, 음, right? 처음이라는 거죠. Yeah, 네. it's first. Yeah. <웃음> 그래서 여기서는 이제 그 정말로 그만큼 흔하지 않다라는 의미로 right. 썼습니다. Mm-hmm. 그래서 전례 없다라고 만약에 말하고 싶다면 That 또, would be unprecedented. Unprecedented. 이런 단어도 종종 mm-hmm. 씁니다. This is quite unheard of. 아무도 경험해 본 적이 없대요. Mm-hmm. At least I've never experienced it. 최소한 저는 경험해 본 적이 없습니다. Mm-hmm. Okay, why don't we see what she says next? Unless perhaps you're a really rich and important person who cannot be seen in public hospitals. Unless perhaps you're a really rich and important person who cannot be seen at public hospitals. Unless라는 것은 if하고 not을 합친 말이에요. Mm-hmm. So, so, unless. 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 네, yeah. unless 뒤에 나오는 내용이라면 또 경험해 볼수 있을 텐데 right. 이게 아니라면 일반적으로는 unheard of. Right. 네. So if you're not this case that's happening afterwards then probably it's unheard of for you. 그렇죠. 그래서 unless 뒤에 나오, 나오는 것이 perhaps 어쩌면 아니면 여기서는 예를 들어서 mm-hmm. you are really a rich and important person 어, 큰 부자하고 중요한 인물이에요. Mm-hmm. 그래서 Uh, you, who cannot be seen at public hospitals. Mm-hmm. Public hospitals 누구나 갈수 있는 공공병원이잖아요. Ah, right. 여기에서는 cannot be seen 보일 수 없다라기보다는 보여서는 안 되는 거예요. Right. So it's like you wouldn't see them there. You wouldn't catch them there. Right? Or you're not supposed to be there. Yeah, you're not supposed to be there. 가면 안 되는 거예요. Right. 가면 주변 사람들한테 피해를 준다. Mm-hmm. 음. For sure. 그런 경우라면 maybe house calls are common. Right. We never know. 음. So let's move on to the next one. That might be an option for you, but otherwise, for sort of day-to-day illnesses, doctors don't necessarily tend to make house calls. That might be an option for you, but otherwise, for sort of day-to-day illnesses, doctors don't necessarily tend to make house calls. 여기에서 아까 house call과 함께 같이 쓰이는 동사가 make라고 했던 것이 mm-hmm. 다시 한번 보이고 있죠. Mm-hmm. They uh, that might be an option for you. Mm-hmm. Option. 무언가를 구입할 때 옵션으로 고르는 것들도 옵션이지만 option? uh-huh. The main choice and then there will be optional choices Yes, optionals, other things you can choose 음. But an option just means something that you can choose, 음. right? 음. Yeah. 그래서 사실 
메인 선택항 말고 부수적인 것들도 옵션이라고 우리가 느낄 수 있고 실제로 영어로도 쓸수 있지만 그거 말고 자 선택을 하나 하세요. 아이스크림 지금 드셔야 됩니다. 아이스크림은 세 가지 맛이 있습니다. You have three options of ice cream flavors. 네, 물론 그 옵션은 초이스로 바꿀 수도 있어요. You have three choices. Right. 그런데 그래서 여기서는 그두 번째 뜻으로 쓰여서 That might be an option for you. Mm-hmm. 그런 경우라면 또할 수도 있겠네요. Yeah, 음. of course. Okay, that might be an option for you. 메가 선생님 만약에 공항 가시는데 mm-hmm. uh, You can drive or you can have me drive you oh. or you can walk. That's an option. Oh, but there's another option. 네. I can take a taxi. 맞아요. 그래서 <웃음> 운전할 수도 있고 친구가 태워다 줄 수도 있고 걸어갈 수는 없겠지만 right. 가능, 이제 가능성만 보자면 And another option is to take, take a, a taxi. taxi. 여러 가지 이제 가능성들이죠. Mm-hmm. But otherwise, 그게 아니라면 for sort of day to day illness. Yes. It's day to day. Day to day. So basic things, things that people experience often, mm-hmm. right? Day to day. Mm-hmm. 하이픈으로 다 연결이 되고요. 발음은 day to day도 되지만 day to day. Day to day. Usually day to day. Day to day. Day to day. 짧게 발음하는 경우도 있어요. Day to day illnesses. 그러니까 일상적인 질병들 있죠. Yeah, ones that are most commonly seen. Right? Like stomach bug. Or a cold. Cold. 감기 같은 Maybe 거. Maybe allergies. Allergies. Yeah. Allergy 같은 거. Doctors don't necessarily tend to make house calls. Mm-hmm. Make house calls. 방문하다예요. Mm-hmm. Make a call 하면 전화하는 거지만 mm-hmm. make house calls는 와주세요라고 요청하는 것이 아니고 mm-hmm. 가는 거. Yes, so yeah. if you make a house call, you're going to see someone at their house. Yes, this is very important. Yes, very important indeed. 신청하는 거는 이제 request a house call. Yeah, I was just about to say that. Mm. If you want to request a house call, then you say request. And? But the person coming makes the house call. Mm. 그래서 이제 비슷하게 생각해 보시면 Pay a visit도 되지만 make a, a visit. visit도 가능하거든요. Yeah. 방문을 만든다, 즉 방문하는 mm-hmm. 거예요. 그래서 make a house call. Mm-hmm. 꼭, 꼭 기억해 주세요. 오늘의 이제 핵심인 것 같아요. Yeah. House call이 뭔지가 중요하고 그 다음에 make a house a call. call. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see what she says next. Of course, it's different if we're talking about the elderly or an infant that needs immediate attention. Of course, it's different if we're talking about the elderly or an infant that needs immediate attention. 물론, of course, 이렇게 시작을 하면서 mm-hmm. it's different, 다릅니다. Mm-hmm. 만약, if we are talking about, 우리가 이야기하고 있다면, 즉, 지금 상황이 이거라면 mm-hmm. 달라집니다. Mm-hmm. 이야기가 달라지는 거죠. About the elderly. Elderly. Elderly라는 거는 old하고 똑같은 yeah. 말인데 The older people. 네, 근데 mm-hmm. old보다는 조금 더 예의를 갖춘 말이에요. Yeah, it feels a bit more respectful and polite to say elderly versus old. 네, 그냥 yeah. old는 물론 그게 무례한 건 아닌데 right. 그냥 나이든 늙은이라는 뜻도 가지고 있어서 부정적으로도 쓸수 있지만 oh, That's old. That's an old book. Right. 근데 elderly는 어르신 right. 이런 느낌이에요. 그래서 mm-hmm. elderly or an infant. Mm-hmm. Infant. Infant. So 네. a baby. <웃음> baby. 정확하게 딱 나이가 몇 개월까지는 infant다 이런 건 없는데요. 그냥 right. 유아. 유아를 mm-hmm. infant라고 하고요. Mm-hmm. 만약 아장아장 걷는 아기는 That would be a toddler. A toddler. 한 걷기 시작하고 한두살세 yeah, 살까지도 maybe two ish yeah, yeah, right two three ish sometimes yeah. uh, depending on the case right uh, toddler라고 합니다 toddler mm-hmm. that needs immediate attention 바로 지금 medical attention 당장 치료를 요하는 노인이나 아기는 경우가 다르겠죠 of course and, and she then? tells us next perhaps the house call would be possible in those rare exceptions perhaps the house call will be possible in those rare exceptions Perhaps 어쩌면 the house call, house call이라는 그 개념은 mm-hmm. will be possible, 가능하겠죠, mm-hmm. 가능할 수도 있겠죠. In those rare, rare, rare exceptions, exceptions. 네, rare exceptions, mm-hmm. rare, 드문, exceptions, 예외. Mm-hmm. 사실 exceptions라고만 해도 드문데 rare exceptions 함께 많이 쓰입니다. Yeah, rare because even though an exception is rare because mm. it's not commonly used, a rare exception just kind of emphasizes how little it has happened, yeah. right? Yeah, how infrequently it happens. Right. Okay. okay, let's see what she says in the last sentence. Although I think generally in Austria, hospitals tend to send ambulances if you are physically um, just not capable of traveling to the hospital yourself. Although I think generally in Austria, hospitals tend to send ambulances if you are physically just not capable of traveling to the hospital yourself. 
이게 나라마다 정말 다른 것 같아요. 앰뷸런스 yeah. 이야기가 나왔는데 미국에서는 앰뷸런스를 한번 부르면 굉장히 비싸다면서요. It's so expensive. So you only use it in the rare exception that you are really sick. Yeah, I've heard so many stories where my friend actually called an ambulance uh-huh. and they charged them thousands of dollars. Yeah, mm. it costs about a thousand dollars just to get an ambulance to pick you up. 네, 그런데 uh. 오스트리아는 그렇진 않나 봐요. Although uh. <laughs> I think generally in Austria, 그런데 제 생각에 대체로 오스트리아에서는 mm-hmm. hospitals tend to send ambulances, mm-hmm. 구급차를 보내주는 편이래요. Mm-hmm. If you are physically just not capable, 못하는 거예요. Mm-hmm. 물리적으로. Mm-hmm. Of traveling to, to the, the hospital, hospital yourself. yourself. 직접 병원에 못 가면. Right, travel. Mm. So travel, it can mean you're like going on a trip, mm-hmm. like for vacation. But it can just mean, you know, going somewhere. 네. I'm traveling to my office today. 네. Right? 여기 마지막 문장에서 travel이 여행하다가 아니고 이제 그냥 이동하다로 음. 쓰였다는 것도 포인트가 되겠습니다. Okay, so that wraps up the end of her clip. Before we move on, let's review and look at it one more time. Apparently in some countries, it's really common for doctors to make house calls. So they'll come personally to your house and treat you within the comfort of your own home. Where I'm from in Austria, this is quite unheard of. At least I've never experienced it. Unless perhaps you're a really rich and important person who cannot be seen in public hospitals, that might be an option for you. But otherwise, for sort of day-to-day illnesses, doctors don't necessarily tend to make house calls. Of course, it's different if we're talking about the elderly or an infant that needs immediate attention. Perhaps a house call would be possible in those rare exceptions. Although I think generally in Austria, Hospitals tend to send ambulances if you are physically um, just not capable of traveling to the hospital yourself. 